This is Classic FM. Welcome to ClassicFM.com. I'm Amory Evening Hall, and it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you today to a piano virtuoso and a man whose star is very much in the ascendant. Ladies and gentlemen, may I please introduce to you G. Lee Wu. And you're very Hello. welcome to Classic FM. How lovely to meet you, having played tracks from your new album over the past few weeks. The mm. album we'll talk about in a few minutes mm. from now, G. It's called Piano Reflections. But I want to go back to the very beginning, if I may. Mm -hmm. And I read that you started playing piano when you were knee high to a grasshopper. Ah. You were three years old. Yeah. What drew you to the keyboard? Actually, one of my very earliest memories sitting in the, at the keyboard was happened in the music store. Because my parents are not professional musicians, but they are really enthusiastic in music. And since I was a baby, I can hum and sing very in tune. So they thought, well, probably my son can become a musician or something. So they brought me to the music store and they asked me to choose one of the instruments from the music store. And then I saw the very biggest one, which is the piano. And I said, well, I want that one. And please, mom and dad. So over those days, I was like, please. <laughs> and uh, after a few days, one, of, one piano was uh, sitting in the living room of my home. And since then, I started to play piano very naturally until now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Piano Reflections then, your ah. album, which is uh, about to be released. And it's got everything on it. We've got music by Beethoven, by Chopin, by Liszt. Mm. And there's a, there's a lot of emotions on here, aren't there? They, we've got passion, and there's tragedy, and there's contemplation. How did you go about deciding what you wanted to record on, on the album, Jean? Mm, because it's always difficult for me to decide a program because we have so many great piano literatures and uh, it's very difficult to create a very specific program especially it's my debut album mm -hmm. and I always want to do the best so uh, but in this particular program I want to bring my audience to a really exquisite sound world and uh, I'm trying to bring my audience to an encounter to some of the most beautiful piano masterpieces which embody the irresistible serenity, sensitivity and uh, also ecstasy. And um, um, this program I think also they ha it has the kind of Beethoven Moonlight Sonata which we can hear from always from the grandmother's living room. Or, uh, yes, it's a very popular piece. But uh, even from such a popular piece, I can find fresh things which I want to reveal to my audience. And I think it's an album which um, also suggests people's really infinite enlightenment of people's really multi-faced uh, emotions. So I think it's a program which I'm quite proud of. Yeah. Should we reveal the hidden secret on the album? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't be a secret anymore, but I love the little twist. Yeah, Please because uh, my name, G, shares the same pronunciation as the English alphabet letter G, A, B, C, D, F, G. So I always have a personal favor of the music which is written in the key of G major or G minor. And uh, actually, I played the Bach Gober variations when I entered the Royal Academy Music, so, which was also in G major. So uh, the pieces which I started the program and also uh, conclude the program are two transcriptions. One is the Mendelssohn's uh, schedule uh, from the Midnight, Midnight Summer Night Stream and also the Dance Macabre by Sun Song. They are all in G minor. So it's a good way of remembering me <laughs> as G. <Yeah. laughs> it also always strikes me about pianists that sometimes life on the road can be a little lonely. I mean, you talked to us about Carnegie Hall and what an extraordinary experience mm. that was in receiving a standing ovation. Do you enjoy touring and playing all the time, or do you have moments where you just think, oh gosh, and everyone's gone home and it's, it's just me now? Um, actually, I love 
to play concerts everywhere because uh, by touring to different countries, I mean, I can learn so much from the uh, people, uh, local people, and just to try different food and <laughs> yeah, experience the um, things which I never seen or something. So it really, really gives me great opportunity to see the world. And um, although the, as a pianist, we are quite lonely sometimes because we have to bear many hours of practice in the practice room. And sometimes we are getting upset by not really achieve what we aim for in the mind. But uh, in the end, once we present our job work on the stage and uh, feel that the audience are really appreciate to our music making, it's the, I think it's the most blissful time for us, for the for performer to, to, to spend on the stage because it's uh, really amazing to see how people, uh, how the music can affect people and how people enjoy the music. It's amazing, yeah. I've got to finally just ask you about the break dancing. Oh. Is it true, first of all, that you enjoy a spot of break dancing? And secondly, you've never injured your hands or your feet, have you, by doing it? Mm, not yet. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I do enjoy break dance. I How mean, did you start doing that? How did you get into that? Um, I, I actually, it's by coincidence that uh, one day I passed by the South Bank Center and uh, they always have dancers breaking, breaking dance. I mean, they are always practicing, rehearse in the South Bank, in the ballroom. And I just thought, well, it's very interesting. And then I just uh, talked to them. And uh, then gradually I found it's a very, it's, a, it's not so dangerous, I mean, especially for beginners, because we have to do a lot of push-ups and to, to just to make, up, make our arm and more strength and so on. Uh, so after doing a few months, I feel like Mm, my piano playing is getting better, <laughs> technically. <laughs> Before, my octave is not so fast. But after doing my breaking downs, I can play Earl King or Hungarian Rhapsodies without any problem. So I, I also, I think it frees my soul and my spirit somehow, because it just takes me out from my comfort zone of piano playing. It's a completely different world. And uh, I can feel the rhythm and uh, many things in the breaking down. I really enjoy it very much. Just yeah. be careful, that's all we say. <laughs> Just oh, be okay. careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ji Liu, it's been an absolute delight to meet you, and we wish you every success with the album Piano Reflections, and hope to see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. This is Classic FM.